Hey guys, Pastor Shane here, and I'm gonna be bringing you your daily focus today. And we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite characters in the Bible. We're gonna be talking about David. And we all know David as a great king. But today, we're gonna to be talking about what got him in to the kingdom. And so if you can open up or turn to 1 Samuel 6:13, it says this. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then left. Here's the key thing about this. At this moment, Dave, David is anointed. He's called to greatness. He's being told that you're gonna do great things for the Lord. You're gonna be a king. You're gonna be a leader. He's being told this. He's, he's, he has this anointing on him. But the truth is, this is the biggest misconception that comes next. Most of us think that David's first entry into the kingdom was that heroic moment of slaying Goliath. That's not true. Let's read about David's first entry into the kingdom. And right after that piece of scripture, it talks about the king of the time, Saul. And he was being tormented by evil spirits and his advisors and the people close to him are trying to help him. And they bring a young man named David into the picture. And it says this, David came to Saul and entered his service. Saul liked him very much. And David became one of his armor bearers. Then Saul went to uh, went to Jesse saying, allow David to remain in my service for I am pleased with him. Whenever the spirit from God came on Saul, David would take his harp and play. Then relief would come to Saul. He would feel better and the evil spirit would leave him. See David's first entry into the kingdom, his first entry into having some influence did not come from slaying Goliath. It came from being a harp player. It came from just being a musician. And the truth is that we all have harps that we can play. We all have opportunities to take advantage of little acts of service. But some of us, even myself included sometimes, think that there's stuff that's just too small. It's not gonna make a big enough impact. We're just constantly thinking about the next big thing we can do. See, but we have to train ourselves to be ready for the big thing by capitalizing on every little act of service God gives before us. And in Acts 20, verse 35, it says this, In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord, our Lord Jesus, how he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. See, every time we pass up on small acts of service. Every time we don't take advantage of the opportunities God gives us to serve, even in the smallest capacities, we could be missing huge blessings in our life. And all of us have an opportunity to serve every day. We have opportunity to serve our family, our friends, our coworkers, just anybody we encounter. We have an opportunity to die to ourselves, to glorify Jesus by serving. There's nothing that's too small, nothing that's too big. David one day would become a giant slayer. One day he would become a king of a nation, but he entered the kingdom by taking advantage of an act of serving the king by playing his harp. So let's wake up every day with an I'm gonna play my harp mentality that whatever God puts in front of me today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna serve it with the most passion I have. I'm gonna give it everything I got. I'm gonna glorify God through my service, small and big. So let's go play some harps together and change the world. See you guys.